Okay, so it's kind of nice to have roll face card decks in the game of Hearthstone. Um, I'll say that I've gotten the most stress from uh, having a, using card decks that are unpredictable. Alright, like the mage I was uh, using Recombobulator, which, you know, gives a, a random minion. Then I was using two unstable portals. Um, also, uh, the Sneed's old shredder. It's just, like, my, my own deck was unpredictable. And it's already hard enough knowing what exactly the the opponent is playing. So you're you're like you're playing a game against yourself, and also against the opponent, just trying to figure things out um, as as things change. Um, I've, I've been uh, I I can't say I'm the most winning um, player. Uh, <laughs> I'm more about uh, playing large volumes of games, large amount of games. I play the mid games more, uh, but I I have to play a lot to to rack up wins. I'm not, I'm definitely not winning every time, and I'm pretty sure I'm below 50% wins. And this isn't even in ranked. I lose almost every time in ranked. I'm just happy to get to level 20 and then stop just to play around with accessing that card back but um, I really like the roll face types of decks just because when I play in the iPod um, I don't have to think so much it's it's just kinda throw a card out here throw a card out there it kinda doesn't matter the the exact um, order of things it's it's pretty it's pretty easy you don't have to strategize as much there's a little bit, but you, you don't have to, you also don't have to to worry about the chance of uh, something, some bad card coming up or whatnot. It's you know all your cards; they don't really change, and you know what to do with them. And uh, I've been enjoying that with uh, Hunter. I Mage, I need to change up. I'm thinking maybe I'll just uh, stick with all spell power and spells. Um, but there's, there's definitely, uh, a lot of frustration with the unpredictability of, of chance, uh, that's, that makes the game a little more frustrating to deal with, um, cause, yeah, it's just, that's, that you, you might as well just flip a coin to see who wins or loses, you know, waste 15 minutes and flip a coin. But man, it's it's like in these games, it seems like most of the time, either the opponent just totally dominates me, or um, you know, every so often I'll, I'll completely dominate another player. It seems pretty rare that the the game uh, is is equal. Like we take it all the way to the end, and it's like down to the last, you know, one health points. It's it's pretty rare that the game um, like looks like it's a fair fight. Most times, it really seems like somebody is just overwhelming the other person. So it's it's really frustrating when you lose bad. You're like, you know, they they got all 30 of their points and they they take you down to zero. You're like, wow, you know, my deck is really that bad. Um, but it, it, it kind of also depends on uh, how the cards are are stacked, and uh, yeah, they're not always stacked in your favor. It's, but it's 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 hard to say, you know. You you, you got to play quite a bit to to really get a feel for what seems to be coming up more. But but then again, the pattern changes from week to week, you know. What, what may seem to come up more often, one week doesn't so much the next. So there, there's a lot of unpredictability there. And you, you probably want to stick with solid cards with that. You know, that, that the mage and the recombobulator. I, the recombobulator is more of a health thing. If, if another minion is low health, then I'll just switch over to an, 
see what happens.